Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Israel Brief brought to you by Lay of the Land, hosted by myself, Raleen Marks. And you know, we do this every Monday to Thursday on our social media platforms. So without further ado, let's get into today's top stories. And we begin with the news that so many of you have been waiting for. Yes, Israel is rumored to be opening our borders. This is at least according to the Globes and I-24 News on the 1st of November. So what will happen is that Israel will open up to vaccinated individuals. If you have had your vaccines within six months of your intended visit or have had the third shot, that is two vaccines and or a third shot, you will be permitted to enter the country. Of course, you will need to fill out the requisite paperwork. It is likely that Israel will be opening up to about 40 countries to start with, mostly from the European Union. But we do recommend that you keep your eyes peeled on the Israeli news. And of course, we will bring you updates right here. Please note that if you do intend to come and visit Israel, you will need to provide a negative COVID test within 72 hours and a PCR test on arrival. So we are looking so forward to welcoming so many of you back to Israel. In other news, the race is on who will be the next chairman of the Jewish Agency for Israel. The former chairman Isaac Herzog has vacated his post to become the president. Yes, he succeeded the former president Reuven Rivlin, a much loved figure, and is now the president of the state of Israel. But it leaves an empty position. And rumor has it, it could be a female this time. There are several very, very strong candidates in the running, including former um, MK Michal Kotler Wunsch. Michal is the daughter of Erwin uh, Kotler, Professor Erwin Kotler. He is the special envoy on anti Semitism for Canada, a very, very special man. And another great lady who is in the running includes the Deputy Mayor of Jerusalem, Fleur Hassan Naum, really, really another fantastic, strong candidate, and several other females as well. But rumor has it that we could see Tsipi Livni make her return to public life. Yes, the former foreign minister and head of the now defunct Kadima party is also a candidate, but we also have some male candidates as well. We have the extremely articulate and able former Israeli ambassador to the United States and famed historian Michael Oren, as well as a liquid chairman, Danny Danon. So it's going to be very, very interesting. The race is on. There are more candidates than those that I have mentioned, and we will see who will be the next chairman. The Foreign Minister Yair Lapid has requested that the voting be postponed so we may only find out results in February. And our final story is one that is celebrated by so many of us here, myself included, and that is Yom Aliyah, Aliyah Day. We remember back in the uh, ancient days of the Bible when God is said to have told Abraham, gather your people from the north, the west, the east and the south and go to the land that I will show you. We'll cut to today and many people are making their way from the four corners of the earth to call Israel their home. But which countries have the highest percentages? Well, we can confirm that France, Belarus and South Africa are the countries countries with the highest numbers of Olim, that is immigrants, and that Aliyah or immigration to Israel is up by 31% from last year and is almost equal to those numbers in 2019. And if you are considering Aliyah, please check your local Jewish agency or Nefesh Benefesh officers uh, who are responsible for helping you with that Aliyah. And if you are making Aliyah, we here in Israel say, welcome home, Baruchim Habayim. Welcome home back to the state of Israel. Your soul has been living here. We just needed your body to return to. And for people who are quite happy staying in the countries where they are, nothing, you know, we're happy with that as well because a strong diaspora also means a strong Israel. So either way, it's all good.
those are your top stories making headlines but uh, don't forget to check out our website at www.layoftheland.online our facebook page at lottle site uh, we are growing in numbers which is really good considering that there are several clamp downs uh, on online content so if you do see us please give us a like and a follow if you see our content please share it we are also on YouTube and if you like our content there, please consider clicking on the like button, sharing and subscribing. Yes, all you have to do to get your daily dose of the Israel Brief is click on that red subscribe button. And we're on Twitter. We're all good twits tweet and you can find us at Lay of the Land 5. That's at Lay of the Land 5. And all that remains is for me to say, have a safe and healthy rest of your Wednesday. And we'll check in tomorrow with those top stories.